Hello Taurus, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Taurus individuals, so please keep that in mind. But this is for Taurus, December 2018, Full Celtic Cross Comprehensive. Taurus, December 2018, The Masses of Taurus on YouTube, 2018 December. Hope your uh, November went well. Let's see what the beginning energies are. What's going to be brought in? The beginning energy. Split it up here. And we got love. Love. That is the Two of Cups. It's partnerships. Partnership that you enjoy and love and brings you happiness in some ways. It's a giving type energy, this card. And it's a good card and it's in the upright. Four of Swords in reverse. No longer taking a break, resting, um, holding back in any way with the Four of Swords. It's like uh, when, when it's in reverse, it's someone who's no longer... More or less taking a break, resting, you know, keeping to themselves in a way. It's kind of like recuperation when it's in the upright. You're no longer going on vacation, as I say. It's kind of hard to explain because I'm trying to get out as many of you as possible here. You reach your energies, but it's like you're no longer just going to sit back and watch things happen. Um, before you probably needed this break, but you're coming out of taking this break. It's crossing it. Maybe your intuition. Um, you worried about things unknown. The future. You don't know what it holds. So it's got you a little concerned. The goal. You have many desires, wants and loves and desires. And, um... There's nothing wrong with that. The lust card. That's what they call it. Sometimes it is lust. Sometimes you want some love. And we did have that love card coming in or the two of, two of cups coming in with love. And you may have strong desires. Could be for a certain individual. I will clarify that. The foundation is the five of swords in reverse. Could be that you're possibly coming out of an argument with somebody. But i got to clarify that also. In the past, there was possibly a signing of papers, court, um, justice for you in some way, just decisions. I'll clarify that more. In the near future, you will be collaborating with somebody, more than two people usually. It's a good card. It's in the upright. Now I'm going to lay these down because I'm going to clarify these first. These are outside energies coming in in the distant future and the possible, another possible near future. But let's find out what this is going on with the Four of Swords in reverse and the High Priestess crossing it. The, you know, not knowing what's going on, the wild unknown. No longer sitting back. You're wondering if something will occur with a, a collaboration. It looks like it's going to happen. But you're wondering if you go out and put your neck out for something, you're not sure about it, working with somebody. And you want to come out of a burden. A burden. So it looks like you're going to express yourself to the world. But at the same time, you're still suffering some anxieties. Because you got the Ten of Wands in reverse with the Three of Pentacles right in reverse next to each other. So I'm seeing that you're thinking, will this work? Will I come out of this oppression? Whatever collaboration or whatever your group teamwork you're trying to do. It could be family too. It doesn't have to be work. But a lot of times work is associated with this card. Now your goal is the Lust card. It's a good card in the upright. So yes, sometimes it has to do with lust. And other times it's just going for the things you want and desire most. 
So the lust card, why are you there as the goal for Taurus? Yeah, there may be some competition out there. It's a five of wands. It calls it strife, but I think it's more like a competition thing, like you're going up against other people and trying to win. You have a lot of desires. Can I get another card for Taurus for the Lust card? And the Five of Wands, both in the upright. Yeah, you got a lot of passion there. You may actually go for this. Sometimes this is like an outcome too. If you're able to manifest it and you're able and you know you can manifest this situation, it can be the outcome. Getting the things you desire and a possible new passionate beginning. Foundation, Five of Swords in Reverse. This does have to do with arguments, fights. Five of Swords. Why are you there? Maybe you had an argument with the Prince of Cups. This Prince of Cups could be a water energy or someone taking on this energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They are in the upright, but you might have some type of argument with them. They may have some water in their chart. Or, yeah, I think you may have ended it something. Some of you may have ended a situation over betrayal. Or they may have ended it with you over betrayal. You can go either way with the Ten of Swords. But something came to a final end. Or someone said they wanted a final end because of betrayal. I don't really say things are totally ended till I see the Death card. That's just me. Because I know it's accurate. Now, in the past, there was justice, contract sign, like I said, possible court for some of you, for a very few of you. The adjustment card, why are you there for Taurus? The devil in reverse, coming out of chain, unchained from a situation you got justice, from something that had you chained before and you broke free from it somehow. Something was hanging on to you and being a leech in some way. Or you were doing this to somebody else. You were wanting happiness. You wanted to come at a, come unchained from a situation that was kind of obsessive. Whether you were doing it or they were doing it, you got out of it. So you could find happiness. So something got broke free. But at the same time, the foundation, there was a fight, possible water sign, and a final uh, defeat, ruined, betrayal. In the near future, you have the Three of Pentacles, a great card. It's in the upright. It's a Mars Energy type card. It means getting work done, being able to collaborate with those around you. Three of Pentacles, why are you there? Collaborating with the Queen of Wands in reverse? Now that's something else. There's a Queen of Wands in reverse is kind of hard to work with, but it looks like this person may be trying to work with you. Or you're trying to work with this person. Queen of Wands in reverse can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of people say Aries. Others say Leo. I say whatever you feel it is. Because it is a fire energy, either way. <clears throat> but like I said, they're in reverse. And hell have no fury like the Queen of Wands in reverse. This type of person tells you what's all, what, what they're feeling at the top of their head. And they're not always in a polite way. Can I get another card for the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands in reverse? Good thing about the Queen of Wands in reverse, she can turn right back upright. She's their their temper is very it's very it's a short temper, but it turns very quickly back to a positive situation with them a lot of times. Depends on the the fire sign though. Um, also here we got the Princess of Swords. This could be an Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So it, like I said, you'll be working with two or more people besides yourself. And that could be an error sign, like I said. Let me get another, or someone take it on an energy. Can I get another card? Maybe it'll tell us something. There is collaboration with more than two people. It is happening in the near future. 
where it's a current environment, they feel that way. Yeah, you're going to be talking to these people. This is communications and travel. Now, I know we're having Mercury and retrograde, so you want to be careful of these communications and make sure they don't go haywire or muck. And that could be why the Queen of Wands is in reverse, but probably because of Mercury and retrograde. But the collaboration is happening where before it wasn't the current environment, as we're talking, there was no no work. And you're I see you starting it because you want to come out of repression, but before nothing was budging. And then you, you started to have your goals, which you can manifest if you want to. Things weren't always good. There was arguments, like I said. And someone fe felt betrayed or stabbed in the back or some type of ending occurred. But I don't know if it's a permanent ending because, like I said, I don't have the death card yet on that or I didn't get that one here. Justice was had in the past. Maybe, like I said, signing of papers or court. You were happy about it and you became unchained from a negative situation you didn't want to be in. Now, this is also the possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Princess of Swords. That's a lot like this, remember? So maybe the universe is telling you to go with the Princess of Swords somewhat, to listen to them. Like I said, it's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius possibly. But they are in the upright. Let's see if it's uh, advice or the possible future outcome. Another card for the Princess of Swords. Prince of Swords. This telling you a lot about this air energy. If you know what it's about, leave it in the comments if you feel comfortable with it. Princess of Swords, Prince of Swords, why are you there? In the upright. Both air energies. Something unbalanced. I feel like the universe is telling some of you that this person may help you with something that is unbalanced in your life. Because they're in the upright. But they're there. Because this is them. They're there. Why? Because things are unbalanced. Things become unbalanced. Maybe they're going to help you out. Because I do see, remember, in the current environment, you're not having the things you want. One more card for this. Maybe they'll give me more information. Princess of Swords. Prince of Swords, the art card in reverse, why are you there? Princess of Wands, I'm, I'm thinking these people are because... Princess of, I'm going to get back to this. Princess of Wands is about a fire energy. It could be, again, remember we had fire over here. She was in reverse in the very near future. But if you work with these people, because things are unbalanced... Things can become upright. That's the feeling I'm getting. You can turn the imbalance around. Or allow these people to help you to turn the imbalance around. I believe the Princess of Wands will turn back upright again because she's here. Princess of Wands, as you know, like I said earlier, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But I'm feeling that things can turn around because they were unbalanced. It'll start with the air energy bringing this forth, and the Princess of Wands will follow through also because of that. Like I said, there was an imbalance, and they're there to help you regain the balance. What's so coming towards you, someone's not going to just jump into anything, a person or a situation. They're going to look at all the options and do their research with the full card in reverse. The full card, why are you there in reverse? Could be a person to see. Yes, yeah, someone is not trusting the situation. You're trying to do a collaboration. But a per someone is coming towards you that's not trusting the situation, not trusting these three parties. Because this is a three of swords. Sometimes this is associated with a third party situation. Like if you were stepping out or someone was stepping out on you. Other times, it's just someone is afraid they're going to have their heart broke. And so they're being cautious. This person that's coming towards you, or the situation coming towards you, is very, very cautious. So they got to learn to trust. Because they, they had disappointment in the past. It's not telling me who. It could be this, the whole situation in general is why, in the beginning, you got that three of pentacles in reverse. But in the near, very near future, it turns upright. 
and the reason why this the reason why there's some you know misinformation or not some trust or things may go a little slow at first is because someone's not trusting the situation because they got burned before so hopes and fears Three of Cups in reverse. You're afraid that there will, it will not come to something you want, possibly. You may not want to hang out with these people after hours. You may There may be some overindulgence in alcohol. That's what the Three of Cups is sometimes. Too much partying in reverse. Or you just don't think you'll get your abundance. It's a fear. It's in the head. Don't manifest that. Three of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Eight of Cups in reverse. You're afraid someone's just going to walk away. And you want success so very bad. You really do. Remember, these are thoughts and feelings. You're afraid you won't get your abundance, that things will just go away, fade away from you. You're, you're you know, you, you don't feel like the negatives will go away that you had before. And you're afraid that you won't gain success. But those, like I said, those are all head injuries. I mean, injuries, you know, thoughts, thoughts and feelings. To me, it's like an injury because you put it in your head and then knock it out. It'll just be stuck in there. So you can't let this linger. <clears throat> the universe is telling you to more or less trust the princess, princess of swords and the princess of wands and try to return the balance. They may be able to help you if you collaborate and communicate. Final outcome, you're coming out of hermit mode. You're no longer going to be sitting back watching the universe just, you know, slip by you, you're going to, you know, the society and the fun of life and the excitement of life, you're going to come out of that hermit mode. The hermit in reverse. Why are you there for Taurus? Some of you are in hermit mode. There you are, queen of this in the upright. One of the best cards as far as I'm concerned in the deck, along with the king of disc. This is a person who sounds, sound, makes sound judgments. Look highly upon the community. People like this person, usually. They may not feel that all the time, but they do. They re at least respect them. You're going to be putting your crown on. You're going to be, uh, be able to walk high again in your life. Fulfill your needs by coming out of hermit mode. But you've got to remember, you've got to come out of that hermit mode. You can upset all this and not go with the path and decide, I'm just going to sit on the couch and... Let this come to me. It doesn't work that way. You still got to enter into life and work with it. Can I get another card for the Hermit card in reverse and the Queen of Disc in the upright? That is you. Earth energy. I have no doubt that's you. You're going to work on that gain situation because you didn't get it in the past. Coming out of Hermit mode. Why? Because you need to put your crown back on and become the queen or king that you are. Because gain wasn't always there. And you need to sit there and get up and work. Go for what you desire. Go out for that new passion. Don't worry about the competition. You'll be able to take them on. Don't worry about <clears throat> past defeats and arguments with people. Go for that happiness. You were, trying, you were breaking free. You're starting to, but you have in your head that it may not work still, but it's going to slowly work. Actually, I think it's going to work faster than you think it is because we got the swiftness card. And this is also communications and travel with the Eight of Wands. So um, answer your phone, make your phone calls. Just watch what you say with the Mercury in retrograde. But this is for December. And Mercury in retrograde ends December 6th. <clears throat> It really gets more comfortable about a week afterwards, at least in my, my experience. But it's saying to collaborate, even though at first everybody won't be on the same page. But like I said, you got this air energy that's going to make it easier where you could turn the unbalance around. 
especially with the Princess of Wands, because she turns back up right here, she. It was coming towards you as non-trust, because someone's been burned before. And that could be the Queen of Wands feeling burned also before. In your own head, like I said, you're not trusting in the success. You're, you, worry, you may worry a little bit too much. You're afraid things will just dry up and go away. You are coming out of hermit mode. You have to. And put your crown on so you can overcome the things that didn't work out in the past with the eight, uh, the nine of pentacles in reverse there. That's the why. You are um, moving on from troubled waters. This is the six of swords. This is the ending energy. It's a great card. I like this card. It also, uh, for a few of you, it could be that you may be moving, just a couple of you, or traveling by water or staying by water. But a lot of times this just means you're moving on from troubled situations to clearer and calmer waters. And that is your reading, Taurus. You're getting a little bit of a reprieve in December, some of you. And I will try to get back <clears throat> before the middle of December to give another energy read and see what we can come up with. It, what come up with, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.